let's look at how we can set up materials and what are the things that we have to look at. So <clears throat> I think right off the bat, what we will need to do is that we have to clear up this model because with having too many things is not going to aid our work. One thing that you, that you taught me in the beginning uh, when we started this, this session is that uh, if, if you want to uh, make the correct material setups, you have to start with the larger surfaces, yeah. right? You should always go with the most important, the most dominant materials mm -hmm. at the beginning. For that, uh, you should separate your model to separate layers and then being able to turn them off, you can focus uh, your, 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 um, your work. And I already did it, so I use layer walk and I will just only uh, disable the accessories, I will disable the front, I will actually do that now in the 3D because I already have everything here. So I go here in the layer walk and I turn off the accessories, I turn off the furniture and I can now, for now, I can also turn off the lamps. This was not sorted to the proper layer so it will, be, it will stay there but uh, other than that I have only an empty room. And this is rendering, first things first, it's rendering faster and now I can focus on the most important surfaces which is right. mostly the floor and the, the walls and, and the, the there ceiling. there are windows on the, on the left hand side. Yes. That's, that's very good to show how light, sunlight comes in. So yes. I think some view like that would be uh, would be great to start working with. Yes, and now we can see this change uh, appearing here. Uh, we could determine whether we like the floor or not, which was previously pretty much covered with the bed, but so we, we didn't see whether it's real realistic or not. So this is also helping this way. Now let's just focus on the wall and then using that knowledge we can actually imagine how you can set up the same way a floor, a uh, ceiling or something like this, that. If you already have something in your model, you should right click on the surface and use this find material option. This is always the best and, and the easiest way to find a material that you see in front of you. So you right click there, find material and the software will find that material telling you what sort of uh, pattern it has, what sort of setting it has. And sometimes you will find <coughs> materials with, uh, with a material type called mat. Now we could say that uh, in real life, if you look around, we would say, there are, there, there are pretty much uh, a, a lot of matte materials around, but that's not true. Actually, when you have a renderer and you use matte materials, you will likely end up with flat render. I mean, it's, it won't be that realistic because mm -hmm. in, in reality, most of the materials around, that, uh, around us, even the, the, the matte ones are reflecting. Uh, they they are, they are not, not, not uh, physically properly uh, matte. So, First things first, you need to select some of these material types. If you cannot find something like, for example, you cannot see uh, plastic appearing there, you cannot see rubber uh, appearing there, you cannot see many types of materials appearing there, you have two options. First, you can select something that is close to that material type or you can just go there into the libraries of Archland and pick one that is having the, the, the proper settings and then use that. But uh, still staying here, you can always go with the general material setting and using that you will have all the list of all, all sorts of settings that uh, Archline supports and then you can just com completely, completely tweak them. <coughs> so if I would like to create a proper wallpaper or, or painted wall surface now here, I should go through these quickly. Is it transparent? It's not. Is it bright enough? I can check it in the renderer. It's, for now it's okay. Uh, is it uh, having some reflectivity? And yes, it has. So I should turn, turn it on, but be careful with that because if you dial it up too much, it will be uh, more like, into um, the mirror. you know, it's, it, no, and, and it's a funny thing here. We cannot see that much reflection here. And why is that? It's because uh, I turned on reflection, but I also has this Fresnel effect uh, mm -hmm. turned on. See what that does now, I just, Look at this wall surface from a different angle. And let's see what happens here now, like this here. So it actually did turn into a mirror. See, it's see. reflective, but it was not reflective from this uh, view. And why is that? It's because this is what R R Fresnel uh, does. It is giving the realistic uh, reflection. If when it's turned on, uh, it will behave like all sorts of surfaces around it around us, if you have a, have a large concrete ground and you look from far, you will see some reflection and it's not because of the heat or something like that. If, if, it, if it's on a cold day, you will, you will still see some sort of reflections and that's because it's actually really reflective. But when you see uh, from a 90 degree angle, you won't see reflection. But, but if you, you see, see it from very, angle. very sharp angle, you will see some see, uh, reflection. So that's, the, that's what the friend of the so, so, so what do you suggest we should do with this for a segment? Uh, so we, should, we should add uh, 
a small amount of uh, reflection which you can test it from a from a low angle now this is too much reflective so you should dial this down somewhere around this value and then you will see that well it comes with a little bit of reflection yes. perhaps but not that much so so you should you should do that or again you can use the predefined materials of Arch and ch and check the settings. For the ceiling, for example, we have a white ceiling setting. We have also bright white. So we, we have, have floors. Materials. That's yes, right. and and all sorts of settings that you can go with. And also, we have a very detailed um, workshop um, that you can actually go and watch online as well. That describes uh, a, a lot more about material settings as well.